Hello, my name is Momonatu Barry. I'm a software engineer and cognitive educator, and I'm from Harlem, New York. My grandmother brought me to America at three years old, and from there I was exposed to a lot of different opportunities. And the main ones that I've stuck with was chess, um, science, going with like inventions and how and why things work. These here are like some trophies that I've got growing up. Uh, these were like all girls tournaments here. This one was really nice. There's all girls chess nationals. This one here is for best camper. <laughs> So I like giving back to my communities because I see a lot of the activities that I was giving at a young age are not given to younger generations now, such as STEAM, like science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. There's very big lack of presence growing up in Harlem now. So I just want to give younger generations the same inspiration and different ways of thinking that I was brought up on. They call me like the hood mother Teresa because like everything around me is fast paced. I teach coding to three different schools. I do like chess tournaments and like be like, yo, just come. I do networking events. I make sure people like can connect within my network or other networks that I may have connections. Yeah, just keeping them lively. I feel like from a larger scale, females are shunned upon when it comes to being intelligent because for so many years we were told to be quiet. That has affected the growth of not only the person but like society as a whole. Um, my name is Amanda Mbele and I'm an intern at the International Atomic Energy Agency. I work as a spent fuel management project assistant. I decided to go for this career mainly because I was very curious as a kid and I saw that science was everywhere around me. As a female scientist I've encountered uh, several obstacles. One of them is that it seems like you are not expected to be feminine, you are more expected to be masculine and you can't wear heels in other areas. Alessandra Lombardi, I've been serve since uh, 23 years now, I'm an accelerator physicist. I think it's important that more, more women come into science for many reasons, including the fact that in society we have a gender balance and, uh, and in this field we, of, of physics and engineering we, we definitely don't. So nowadays I think between staff and fellow, in general at CERN we have 20% women. And if we look just at the scientists, physicists and engineers, then the percentage drop to some 15, 16%. The number tells us that there is uh, still a way to go. I believe it's very important for the United Nations to tackle like, equal opportunities in STEAM because it's a global perspective. For example, like making the girls stay at home to take care of the siblings or cook at very young ages as opposed to getting an education. Like, Why can't they get an education as well? Just having a chance to do something opens a lot of doors. All it takes is your creativity. Once you can mold that into something real and something that's sustainable, then the future is just gonna keep growing from there. Like, even if you're not the first person to do it, you're leaving a blueprint for the next people to add on to it. The world is evolving and a lot of female scientists are coming up, therefore we'll have a balance between the genders and it will not be ruled by males only. We'll have women power as well. My message to young girls and even older girls all around the world is that don't let anyone tell you that math and science is not for you. You have unlimited possibilities in front of you. You can do it. <laughs>